Welcome to Jira Guru. In this video, we will guide you through backlog management with Jira Software, a step-by-step -step guide. What is backlog management? Before we dive into Jira Software, let's first understand what backlog management is. Backlog management is the process of organizing and prioritizing work items for a software development project. Example, you are a developer. You might use a backlog to keep track of all the tasks like fixing bugs, implementing new features, and improving performance that need to be completed for a particular project. You could then prioritize the tasks based on their importance and the impact they'll have on the project. Then you estimate the amount of time and effort required to complete each task and assign each task to a team member. This helps ensure that everyone knows what they're responsible for and that the workload is distributed evenly. As you work on each task, you can update the status in the tool you're using, such as marking it as in progress or done. Now that we understand the importance of backlog management, let's dive into how to create a backlog in Jira software. Here are the steps you need to follow. Step 1. Create a project in Jira software. The first step in managing your backlog with Jira software is to create a project. To create a project in Jira software, simply click on the Projects menu and select Create Project. From there, you'll be able to select a project type, name your project, and add a project description. You can also set up project permissions and select a project template if you'd like. Step 2. Create a Backlog You must enable Backlog after you have created your project. Choose Project Settings. Choose Features and then click to enable the Backlog. Now you go back, you'll see the Backlog on the tab in the Project menu. Step 3. Add Backlog Items To add items to your Backlog, click on the Create button at the top of the Backlog page. This will open a menu where you can select the type of item you want to add. Jira software allows you to add four types of backlog items, epics, stories, bugs, and tasks. Step 4. Prioritize your backlog. Prioritizing your backlog is an important step in backlog management. This ensures that the most important items are tackled first, and the team is working on the items that will have the biggest impact on the project. Step 5. Customize your backlog view. Jira software provides several ways to customize your backlog view to suit your team's needs. These include board view. The board view allows you to view your backlog items in a visual format, such as a Kanban board or a Scrum board. This view is useful for teams that use agile methodologies. Quick filters. Quick filters are a quick and easy way to filter your backlog items based on common criteria such as status or assignee. These filters can be customized to suit your team's needs. Example, we're going to go under Quick Filters and call Assignee. In our query for this filter, our JQL is going to be Assignee equals Sign Current User. To match the name, we gave the component we created and assigned. We can also put a description if we want to. Next, we'll hit the Add button, and we'll have created a Quick Filter called Assignee. Step 6. Track Progress once you have set up and customized your backlog in Jira software, the next step is to track progress. Jira software provides several reports that can be used to track progress and identify trends. These reports include the burn-up report, sprint burndown chart, the velocity chart, cumulative flow diagram, cycle time, and deployment frequency, which can be used to track progress and identify any issues or delays. By following the steps outlined in this video, you can effectively manage your backlog, prioritize tasks, and monitor progress. If you want to learn more about Jira software, make sure to subscribe to Jira Guru for more helpful tips and tricks. Thank you for watching.